So one of my favorite stories in the entire world that I reference a lot in my day-to-day -day life is the story of Icarus. If you guys haven't heard of that story, basically, to spark note it, it's about a boy. He got wax wings and he was told not to fly too close to the sun, otherwise the wax will melt and he will obviously fall to his death. So Icarus, obviously, you know, reached for the stars and he took as much as he can, he flew as high as he can, and his wings melted and he perished. So there's a lesson to learn, you know? Don't take too much. Did I get the thumbnail? Because I feel it's slipping and I'm, I'm gonna be Icarus real soon. This is gonna come clattering down. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, my name is May Like The Month, and today I'm going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. So I just posted a video about decluttering my black clothes. I heard your comments, I read them, and I'm going to be decluttering all of my color clothes and my pants very soon. But in the interim, or that's how you, yeah, interim? In the interim? In interim, I'm going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. So I've been on this kick of decluttering things. I find that it makes my day-to-day -day life much easier to make decisions and also just to purge things that I don't touch anymore. So eyeshadow palettes is a huge part of it. All right, so this is my little makeup kit right here. Basically, all my eyeshadow palettes are hidden somewhere all in here and it's just getting to be quite quite a lot to deal with and I know that I don't reach for most of these so might as well give them away to family and friends. The first thing that I grabbed was the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. I thought that oh I have all of them they're in a collection I should keep them all together they have all the colors I ever need. Just looking back at 2019 and what I reached for I realized I only reached for one of them which was the Sapphire Obsessions. As you know I love my blue eyeshadow shade so this is the one that I reached for the most. So I'm gonna keep the Sapphire Obsessions and then donate the other four because I have colors very similar and I don't reach for these guys at all. When I do do eyeshadow, I gravitate more for colors. I actually tried a brown smoky eye a couple days ago and it, it doesn't feel like me at all. Therefore, I'm only going to keep one neutral palette in my collection. I have two right now. I have the Morphe Beach Babe 9B palette, something like that. And then I have the Huda Beauty Nude in Medium, like that. I'm actually gonna keep the Huda Beauty. I find that, number one, it's a little smaller, so it's easier for travel. This transition shade in particular is great for the crease and the shimmers are good for, I just wanna pat it on my eye. This one's a keep. This one's a donate. Next up is the Huda Beauty Neon Beauty palettes. These ones I, again, thought I was gonna love because I love bright eyeshadows. I have a bunch of neon pigments that create that really bright neon look that I'm going for. I find that the Huda Beauty palettes, the neon ones, you have to pack on quite a bit. So I'm gonna say goodbye to all of them. This guy is a for sure keep. This is the Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. I can't find these shades anywhere else in my kit. I love the top row the most. It just, it's a beautiful palette and it's a for sure keep in my collection. It's Likely Makeup, my girl. She came up with two blush palettes that I've actually been using as eyeshadows. I find that the standouts in the clown blush is definitely Carnival and Contortion. These ones are so bright and pigmented that you can use them as an eyeshadow perfectly and you will get the color that you see in the pan. And in the Fairy Blush palette, I just, oof. Aquamarine, I love my teals, is stunning. Both these palettes are staying in my collection. Lime Crime, Venus 1 and Venus 2. These I remember being on my wish list ever since I was a Tumblr kid. I remember just having those aesthetic photos of 
these palettes come up on my feed all the time and I'm like I need these palettes so when they came to Urban Outfitters I scooped them up I think these palettes are dang these are old but they're good I gravitated toward these palettes all the time when I used to like dark grungy smoky didn't sleep for three days and I raved for 48 hours straight kind of looks you remember that aesthetic please tell me you remember that aesthetic this was my go-to palette i'm not that girl anymore i love bright eyeshadow so i'm actually gonna give venus one yeah i'm gonna say goodbye to this venus two however i am going to be keeping i love the shade filter this light blue and if i am feeling like oh i want to look like i haven't slept in how come i can't think of a number 30 years i you can see this shade right here mustard i love using this shade i'm going to be saying goodbye to my venus one and keeping my venus two this is the belfry electric garden eye palette when i received this i was a little skeptical at first because i just known them for being a clothing and a print and an art company so when i saw this i was like oh an eyeshadow palette i i'm not entirely sure however I've gotten so much use out of this palette. This light blue is my absolute favorite. This is that perfect lilac-y lavender that I go for. And right here, I always think like, oh, why do people need a shimmery white eyeshadow in every single palette? I'm that kind of person. I'm like, okay, wow, I'm just going on a rant now. I see the top row on palettes sometimes and they're all like these pearlescent, opaly white shimmery shades. I'm like, this is so pointless. Take it out. Put another color in there so i said the same thing about this shade right here however it's like the nicest blue shift so whenever i'm doing a blue look i like to take this guy and tap it on because it will just boost the blue to make it bright and won't wash it out and it'll also give a highlighting effect i yeah this is a keep this is the ColourPop mint to be palette i don't have any mints in my collection and one thing that i find is really hard to find is mint teal turquoise so i'm keeping this guy my personal favorites of the shade is the get fresh mint tea and ice cold right here i just find that this palette is really stunning and i don't have anything like it in my collection to keep this is the sigma enchanted palette this palette is not me at all i'm not a huge fan of jewel tones on my skin tone and the shade that i was most excited for metamorphosis is very similar to the lime Cl lime crime pigeon shade where it's like kind of that blue black kind of deal every time i see this palette it just I, i'm not inspired by it and i know some of my friends and my family will be because jewel tones just like I know I can think of a couple of people like, on top of my head where it's their jam. So I'm sure that they'll appreciate this palette more than me. So it's a donate. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Soft Glam and Modern Renaissance. I got Modern Renaissance around the same time I got that Lime Crime palette where like the reds and the smoky and the warm tone I was everyone's bread and butter. And Soft Glam I got right after because I really gave in to the consumerist mentality of if everyone's raving about it. I need to get it and I need to get it the day it comes out I remember just rushing to Sephora when Soft Glam came out and Modern Renaissance and just like seeing it snatching it and buying it without really taking a look at it so these palettes I really gave into bought immediately I did get a lot of use out of them as you can see these palettes will always hold so these palettes hold a really warm place in my heart just remembering how I used to be. I used to be a warm tone, red, smoky eye kind of gal, or just like a really classic glam, but I'm not that anymore. And I think that it's time to let go. So I'm gonna donate both of these guys. So I have a couple melt palettes. This one is radioactive, beautiful. Definitely keeping that guy. And then I got sent to me the Morte and the Vita palette, which look something like this. See, I'm stuck because I love 
the bottom three shades on this palette and then I love the bottom three shades of this palette. If they were combined, that would be my absolute perfect palette. However, between the two, obviously, for my eye looks, I go brighter than darker. So I am going to be keeping, which is this one called? This, I'm gonna be keeping Vita and I'm gonna be donating Marte. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. So as you can see, I've dipped into a couple of these shades. Obviously my two favorite shades are Mercury Haze and Super Moon. I find that Huda Beauty do really amazing shimmer shades. However, when I take a look at this palette, I do have very similar colors from the palettes that I've kept so far, so I'm going to be donating this. It's a beautiful palette, it's great quality, however, if I already have colors that I have in my existing collection, I don't need these guys, so donate. These, without saying, are an obvious keep. I remember saving up as much money as I can to purchase my first sugar pill palette. Because I live in Canada, the conversion is a little steep. So this purchase is really special to me. The sugar pill pro palette and the eyeshadows, you can't find colorful matte palettes as high of a quality and for the amount of product you get for the price than sugar pill. These have been my staple for any color eyeshadow look and it it just makes me so happy and I probably will never part with these guys until I pan all of them. So these are a keep. This is the ColourPop, I think it's called She's the Rainbow palette. Whenever I find that I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear for the day, I actually open up this palette and I take a look at all the rows. I'm like, okay, what color speaks to me most? And I go from there. I really love this palette and it, again, that with the sugar pill, those palettes by itself, I don't need any other just bright rainbow-esque colors. This is a definite keep. And last but not least is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I got this guy when I was at IMATS a couple years ago. Again, I just really was into this whole idea like, oh, everyone's talking about it, I need it. So I ran to the booth and I purchased it. In its defense, it's a really beautiful, beautiful palette. There's a lot of warm tones. You got the couple teal boys down there. So I don't reach for this guy anymore. I know that a bunch of my friends would probably love to have this palette. So I'm obviously gonna clean it up first because it's a little scuzzy and then give it to them. So it's a donate. Thank you so much for watching. And a part two of my closet declutter is coming out very, very soon. I promise. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. All right.